guys, I'm Sandy and I'm a homeschooling mom to two boys. I have an eight year old who is in third grade and I have a 10 year old who's in fifth grade. And I wanted to film a few videos just to show you some curriculums and workbooks that we have used in the last two years. So I pulled my boys out of public school two years ago and I'm definitely not an expert in the long term usage of the curriculums but I can tell you what we liked and what you didn't like. And I really wanted to show these videos so that you can actually flip through the books and see the curriculums that I've actually used, especially if you have little boys. Hopefully you can get some ideas. All right, so let's get started. Okay guys, um, for history this year, I kind of put together my own curriculum to make it more interesting and gear it more towards what my boys like and don't like. The main spine for the curriculum is Evan Moore Ancient Civilization History Pockets. And let's see, this is, it says grades one to three. Um, my son, who is in fifth grade, still loves doing this. And I think all the coloring that he's done for it is really helping the muscles in his hands and improving his handwriting. And it covers a lot. It's ancient Mesopotamia, ancient Egypt, Greece, Rome, China, and the Aztec world. So you only really need to order one workbook if you have multiple children, just because each page is two-sided and you need to make copies anyways. And the pages are all really easy to rip out so you can stick it in your copy machine really easily. There's a lot of activities for each time period. So here's one of the pockets that my older son has created. This is the cover page. Um, it is, what is history pocket? And here's his words to know that came from it. And when I do these words to know with my children, I try to make the definitions as short as possible because this is not really a language arts lesson. So you can lift all the flaps and there's... And we also have a timeline in here. one in this pocket is just an extra project that we've done. We were studying ancient history, so I wanted to add like a Neanderthal caveman unit, and we uh, created our own hand cave paintings. And then the next pocket that we've done so far is ancient Mesopotamia. And in here we've got puppets. I actually googled what costumes from ancient Mesopotamia look like so they could be more historically accurate. And then we've got words to know. And we have a pop-up ziggurat, which is their pyramids. And we've got sailing down the river, which is actually a really fun project to do. Stick goes in here and you can move it up and down the river from the back. And there's also a map, so each time they go to a new civilization, they can color in that part of the map. And one other thing that I've added to this is Dover. They make really, really good coloring books about history. And that's it for History Pockets. Now, other things I've added onto it to make it more exciting would be all these Dover books. Life in Ancient Egypt, King Tut, and Warriors Through the Ages. So my children both still like to color pictures, and we always Google it to make the colors look correct. You can see each page has a description on the bottom. And my kids really love the Warriors Through the Ages because they are boys, and they like to hear about fighting and wars. There's the King Tut. And one other thing that I add that we all love a lot for read-alouds are interactive history adventure books. It's you choose books. And there's so many different paths that you can take in here. You start reading the book, and it will give you sometimes an option of which page to go to if you make different decisions. And it has actually lots of real photographs, colorful photographs in it. And it really makes the history come alive. 
And sometimes you die and the outcome is not as good, but sometimes you survive and live a good life. So this is pretty much made for every time period out there and they're pretty good cost to buy. And the other thing I'm doing for read aloud, it's a DK Smithsonian history year by year. And it's actually done in a way where they have a timeline on every page. And my kids really like this because it has colorful photographs. It really brings history to life for them. And we're just going to slowly read page by page as we get to different periods in time. And this is where we're at right now, the Metal Ages. And the other things I'm going to use for read-alouds would be a National Geographic Egypt book. A lot of real photographs, again, which my kids love. And I've got a DK mummy book. And we're also, for videos, we are going to be watching the Pippo Time Compass on Amazon Prime. So these are the videos that we use throughout the year for history. It's Kids Animated History with Pippo, and it's completely free if you've got a Prime membership. And this kind of goes through all the time periods in a comical way where my kids enjoy it. Here are some of the time periods you've got. So in addition to these videos, my boys like to do a lot of hands-on activities. So when we get to ancient Egypt, we're going to be doing a basket weaving project. And um, when we get to ancient Greece, we're going to be doing a recipe. So just little things like that throughout the year we're going to be doing in my boys. So what we were using last year for history was Trail Guide to Learning Paths of Exploration. And I'm only going to talk about the history aspect of it right now, which is actually really good. It was really in-depth. Um, the reason we're not using it again this year was because the units were six weeks long and my boys were just getting a little bored with them. And also some of the read-alouds were just, they were just getting a little bored with everything. Like the first unit was on Columbus and six weeks of Columbus is just too much. Um, so here's the book on it. Or each unit has lots of activities. They're all divided by age groups. This is like third grade. This is fourth grade, this is fifth grade. And my younger son was in second grade last year. He did third grade and he was able to handle it just fine. Um, so that's the textbook for it. Now it's got lots of read alouds that you can use with it. Here's one of the extra books that they have that came with it. This one actually has pictures. This one was more something that they would like. And Profiles from History was a really, really good book, and my kids enjoyed it. On days where we were super busy and we didn't have time to do the full lesson, I would pull out something from here, and they would do the activities, and they would learn about different historic figures. Marco Polo, we've got Da Vinci, Michelangelo, Shakespeare. They actually enjoyed doing the activities in this book. So the inside of the textbook itself doesn't really have any colorful pages. No pictures, really no colorful pages. And while my boys did do this last year, they learned a lot about geography. They learned pretty much everything about reading maps. That was one really good thing about it. And the other thing that we really enjoyed about this was eat your way around the world. Every time we would go to a new part of the world in the Trail Guide to Learning, we would pick a part in here and we would do a recipe. And all the recipes are super easy. My kids would always do them with me and they just require really easy ingredients. And our favorite recipe was actually the pavlova from Australia. And my boys had watched The Little Lunch on Netflix and there's a pavlova episode on there and ours turned out much better than the one in the show. So that's pretty much it for the history aspect, and I will talk about the science and language arts aspect of this curriculum in another video. So, so these are the.
So here are two of the history living book read-alouds that came with the Trail Guide to Learning curriculum. Um, surviving Jamestown and Stories of the Pilgrims. So let me flip through it. Really no pictures, nothing exciting. Oh, there's one picture. So my boys enjoyed me reading these. I read them for like half an hour every night before we went to bed. The one thing is there really aren't any exciting pictures for them to look at while I'm reading. So they enjoyed me reading them, but it was a little struggle to get through the entire book. And with the trail guide curriculum, I did like it. I had ended up buying a bunch of different volumes of it. This is Path of Settlement. This is for the second year of Volume 1. And here's Path of Settlement Volume 2 for the second year. I'm going to hold on to all three of these volumes and may use them again someday. So that is it for what we've used so far for history. So I hope I was able to help you out a little bit.